Uh, tech, I have an R9 3900X, 32 gigs of RAM at 3600 CL14, and my 3080 pre-order is two away. I uh, think I should sell my CPU and get Zen 3 or keep the 3900X. My gut, now, we haven't tested the 5900X. No, we haven't. My gut is if you have a 3900X, keep it. It's not going to be enough of an improvement to justify the cost of swapping them out. Are you going to sell your current chip? You're going to take a loss and hit on that. You're going to have to buy the I new mean, one at full price. Your, if your system is working and you need a BIOS update, the 5900X is obviously going to be faster. How much? It sounds like 20%, give or take. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on what you're doing. The 3900X is so good. You're going to pour money into it to do what? Now, if you wanted to go from 12 cores to 16 cores, if you had a need for 16 cores and you said you wanted the... He didn't say that, did he? 50, no, 5950X. Yeah, if you wanted to go to the 5950X and go from 12 to 16 cores... That's a different story. Same thing if somebody, if, if one of you has a Ryzen 7 3700X and you're asking, should I go to Zen 3? Generally, no. Unless you want to go to the Ryzen 9 5900X and go from 8 to 12 cores. So if you're doing a one generation hop, it should also come with a core count increase. If you're making a two generation hop, that's different. If you have a Ryzen 5 1600, a Ryzen 5 5600X might make sense That's because true. you're making enough generational chumps that even though you're not adding cores, you're adding so much per core performance, it'll be noticeable. But a 3600 to a 5600X doesn't strike me as worth the trouble. We'll see when we benchmark them. We haven't tested them.